Now to the Labour Party conference. Joining me today is former Labour Cabinet Minister John Tamihere and our commentator Willie Jackson. We had arranged to have the member for Ikaroa Rafiti, Aparekura Horomia, in the studio, but last night he pulled out, saying the Māori caucus are having a vote as we speak <coughs> and he wasn't able to make it. Maybe they're voting on letting you in, JT. I don't think so. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> well, they've got other things on their mind at the moment. So yeah. you don't think you're a priority? Oh, no, I don't. No, I don't. And um, I, I, they've, they've got a big work plan uh, out there at the moment uh, at uh, the race course. And, um, but I would have thought he should have turned up. But that's another story. Why, why aren't you at the race course? Were you blocked from going to the hui? Oh, no, no. Uh, there was a preference uh, I did, uh, from um, certain people um, that said uh, it would have been inappropriate for me to attend. Um, I got media accreditation. I could go and make it a circus, but I'm not interested in doing that. Yeah. Mm. I hear that the Māori Policy Council has made this decision way for JT not to be at the. Oh, the at Māori, the the Party Māori Policy <laughs> Council should hang their heads in shame, actually. <laughs> and Parekura Horome in particular, our relation, you know, he should show some leadership on this. John, John was, he used to drive that Māori Policy Council, fronted for the infamous foreshore and seabed uh, bill. And so the Policy Council should be wel welcoming him in. But uh, that's just nonsense, uh, what's happening at the moment. And John don't need inc accredi uh, accreditation to go to that conference. Mm. You know, you're talking about an ex-minister here. So um, if he wanted to go, he'd go. But I, I don't think he wants a scene. He doesn't want the, <laughs> he doesn't want the media going crazy. You know, that's not JT style. But really, seriously, as Māori, I was down the... You're talking about Pretty Cool. I was down Ngati Pro yesterday. Never saw him at the Ngati Pro East Coast uh, prize giving. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of interest. There's a lot of interest down there in terms of John, because mm. John's from Ngati Pro mm. also. And it's clear Pretty Cool is on the way out. You know, he's, uh, you know, he's made it clear this is just about his last term. So we need strong Māori MPs in Labour. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm, I have the belief we need strong Māori MPs right across all the parties at the moment. There's not, there's not a lot of strong Māori MPs in Labour. We might do a review of the Māori caucus in Labour a little bit later on, but JT, you, you were in Labour, yeah, yeah. you're out of Labour, now you want to get back in Labour? Is that where you want to be? Oh, no, look, here's the biggest problem we've got as a country. Um, <clears throat> there's no um, robust conversation about the economy. Everything's around the margins. Um, we've got the fastest exiting of people, skill. We, we're the, we are now the training incubator for Australia at our own cost. Uh, we, we are leaking jobs in the manufacturing sector. We've got a young, failing brown class of people, and yet we've got baby boomers piling out in retirement. There's a chasm growing between uh, what we can afford in our pensions and a productive workforce to achieve that. These are the real, these are the real discussions that we have to have. We've got to lift export earnings. We have to uh, lift training out and education outcomes. And so that, do you think yeah. if you can get back into Parliament you can help those issues? You can assist this? Oh no, no. Well, I'm, I'm not heading back into Parliament. I'm just trying to join an association. I can join the League <laughs> Club uh, <laughs> the RSA and then oh Jesus, the Labour Party. But that must be the objective. Could've... If you're going to go back yeah. in the Labour Party, you want to get back into Parliament. Oh no, I want to be part of a, uh, a upgrading a conversation uh, that, that's based on the economy. Not whether I'm a Māori, uh, not whether I'm Pacific Islander, not whether I'm um, a gay or a woman. Uh, um, the identity politics have to be put to one side for the benefit of uh, the whole of the economy. And so that's the discussion that we really need to have. Mm. Uh, the settings that we've got are from Roger Nomic's era uh, in the uh, mid 80s to early 90s with Ruth Richardson. They're wrong and uh, they're, they're demonstrating uh, um, some major problems right now. So we, we really need to have that discussion rather than um, all the malarkey that's going on now. And what does the Māori caucus think about all this? Are they supportive <laughs> of you joining the Labour Party, coming back into the fold? Well, the problem with the... With the uh, well, the Labour caucus... Oh, I don't much mind, you know, um, <laughs> because... Because <laughs> I've had... A, uh, I don't second-guess what the, 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 the caucus, their caucus thinks and all the rest of it. But on the street, uh, the rank and file are still good people, you know, they're outstanding people. They just hope that... Um, the party apparatchiks will get it right. Do you think you'll be a threat to some of them? Well, you always are. Um, any, <laughs> anyone, with a, anyone with a modicum of talent can be. So, <laughs> so um, politics gets dumb, dumbs people down, you know, mm -hmm. and people with merit struggle uh, to get through, uh, to cut through. And uh, that's just the nature of it. So we've got 121 MPs down there. You'd be lucky to name 20, you know? Yeah. And that's not, no dis disrespect to the other 100. It's just a fact. What about David Shearer? Willie, has he got merit? There could be a challenge to his leadership coming well, up from look, David Cunliffe. Well, there's no doubt he's got merit. We, John and I, you know, we both uh, supported him right at the start, and I still, so we still support him. He's a guy who's, uh, 
uh, got a lot of principles. You know, he's a good person. Is he safe, though? No, well, no, I don't, I don't think he's safe at all. <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, he hasn't learned the, learned the, the soundbite yet, you know. He hasn't improved his media side of things. But despite all that, Scotty, he, he's not... Fa you know, he's there or thereabouts, and we're still two mm. years out mm. from, from an election. Mm. And all these experts who want to get rid of him should, need to look at the polls. And if he polishes himself up, if he tightens up, you know, he, this guy could still be the Prime Minister, but, you know, he's so not being supported by his front bench, which JT's mm. been saying all the time on, on Talkback, which is quite true. You know, there's always the knives going in. You see the photo with Cunliffe smiling behind him and all this sort of thing. They need to get behind this guy. He offers a lot to this country, uh, Scotty. You, you've got to put the con in context, right? 1996, three yeah. years after Clark had won leadership, mm. um, she was 2% in February in, <clears throat> coming into 1996 polls as preferred Prime Minister. Sure. And the party was polling behind the Alliance Party. Now, <clears throat> this is three years into it. Now, this, this bloke doesn't have any fingerprints on the Clark era or the Long era. So I thought he's breath of fresh air. Mm -hmm. you know? and, um, and on that basis, uh, and also he's got an outstanding uh, international career in the right places uh, for compassion and humanity. And so I just thought uh, that it would be nice to have a, a refreshing new bloke at the helm. So sure. that's why we backed him. Do you think Shearer is good for Māori, though? No, look, I, I think um, any any conversation that upgrades uh, the issue of um, ensuring that Māori children finish uh, secondary school with NCA2 minimum is, is a great conversation. Mm. So any politician that will focus on dropping our horrendous criminality rates at 50 per cent, that's, that's a worthy politician. Uh, the present politicians want to just stymie it and push it to one side, pretend it's like the elephant in the room but no one wants to talk about Māori failure. If you fix Māori failure, you'll start to fix the economy quite, quite dramatically. Mm. And if we, we have these sorts of people in leadership, that's OK. But he needs to get a bit of work mm. done, that's all. Mm. Look, I interviewed Key when he first came out. He was bumbling and everything, you know? But he's very sharp now. That's right. Clark um, lacked in a lot of areas. Brian Edwards wor worked her over. All of a sudden, she mm. became a machine. Mm. He hasn't done that. You know, he just needs he needs to take some advice, get some media training. He'll come right because his principles are right, his ethics are right, and the Labour Party needs someone with those sorts of principles and those sorts mm. of ethics. Mm. And the move is on for Cunliffe at the moment. They're changing the rules and all no, they that. They changed the rules. So Mate, they only need forty percent of well, the caucus. Well, yeah, well, well, big mistake. You know, you, you, you know, they should just concentrate. Well, I mean, you know, he could still stay there, but, you know, the, the guys, you know, he's, he's, quite, he's quite vulnerable at the moment. But maybe Cunliffe will be better for Māori. Well, no, well, he put Nanaia Mahuta up. We won't ask JT what he thinks about Nanaia Mahuta, because <laughs> <laughs> he's already done the no, damage. He's, he's, he's a new <laughs> man. He's a new man. JT's a new man. Look, look, Cunliffe's, <laughs> don't get me, look, Cunliffe's a machine, but he needs to show some loyalty, some support here. Um, but the move is on. There's no doubt there's a real move on for Cunliffe. You know? Well, he's got aspirations of his own, isn't he? He wants to be the leader. Of the well, party. well, of course he does, but he just there's a number to of them back. do, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's a number of them do. Grant so, Robinson's uh, the other one. Grant, uh, Grant Robinson comes mm -hmm. through the middle and be, you know, be the desirous to be the first sort of gay prime minister and cool. But the point is, um, what are they bringing to the table? Okay, the, the, I want to have a discussion with people that have a policy that uh, I can see advances the communities, right? from low-cost housing all the way through, rather than giving state monopolies to private m monopolies called Fletchers and so on and so forth. So we, have, we, we should have that discussion. Our kids can't get apprenticeships because um, the state has passed the monopoly across to a whole big building company, uh, and that makes out that it's nice and enterprise-driven and all that. So, so we've, got, we've got to have that discussion about levering uh, a lot of our kids in um, low-income areas uh, up into good jobs and, uh, and trades. And that's why that Māori caucus back to Parikura <coughs> and they should be opening the doors for John because he's not, he hasn't got, as we know, the women aren't supporting the well, gays. Well, <laughs> the, 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 the gays aren't supporting, the unions aren't well, supporting. supporting. No, well, I want the Māori hopefully are taking a vote now because they should, they should actually, um, you know, set, set it up for John because no, he's been Pari such Kura's a contributor. Pari Kura's telling Porky's mate, well, they're let, not having a vote. Let's, just re, let's, let's review the Māori caucus and Labour yeah, yeah. and how well they've been yeah. performing. Yeah. Pari Kura Horo. JT, been somewhat redundant over the last year or two? 
Oh, I think that's a bit harsh, um, but not far off the mark. <laughs> 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 but, uh... <laughs> look, look, a, a, a generally miserable, I'll tell you now, a generally miserable uh, performance from the Ma Māori MPs and Labour. Look, the Māori Party... Tell us about Parikura, focus on Parikura. Oh, look, look, he's a great whanaunga, all right? He's a great, <laughs> great relation, they love him in Ngāti Pro, I'll tell you that now, and he delivers well right. for Ngāti Pro. He's but, doing well on the ball-up circuit, yeah, yeah, no that's doubt. Right. So, but uh, the reali reality is not performing okay, for... So, so Obviously, no. So he's obviously not doing the job, Parikura. You've, you've indicated yeah, that already. Yeah. What about Nanaya? Nanaya Mahu? Look, 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 look at visible, not very visible no, at all. Far too quiet because the education portfolio, Hekia has given her some yeah. outstanding opportunities. Uh, but she's not that. She's not a uh, oppositional contesting type of politician. That's right. And um, and that's that's why Shearer's front bench is not firing. The, you look at um, what Paula Bennett's been up to, and you have a look. Yep. Uh, you look at them. So, so you know what you, you know what you're not allowed to do these days in politics is, you, is you're not allowed to be honest and not allowed to have an honest opinion about what we're talking mm -hmm. about, and that's the nonsense. Yeah, but but hey. you'd have to say you were slightly too honest about Nanaya <laughs> about, <laughs> about a year ago. But look, look, you want to go through the rest of them. The Shane Jones, of, Shane Jones. Yeah, well, Shane's been redundant basically, right? Is his, is his future pretty limited? Oh, I is think he placed on ice because of that inquiry. Look, no doubt about mm. no doubt about Shane's talent. Mm. Huge talent mm. but but he's sort of basically been redundant because of the inquiry and what's happened and that's the shame of, of Jonesy and then the rest of them well who, we don't know who, who's the boy well, who, well there's, there's one Tiddy other Cartany, isn't Reno it? Tiddy yeah, well, you wouldn't know but who. most people would say who well I thought he was dead well, he's got, right. a huge, he's got a huge opportunity with Christchurch going look, through the rebuild. He's a lovely... He, look, he's been so quiet, you, you'd wonder if he was still alive. But, look, he's a lovely young man, but, he, you know, he's going to take 10 years to come right. So the reality... We haven't got 10 years, though. No, but here's the problem, <laughs> Scotty. You know, the, you know you've know, got the Māori Party who are in all sorts of trouble. Mm. If you had a, a Māori uh, front bench firing, they'd be hammering them. Mm. And they, they don't have the profile at the moment. They need to take advantage of that. They need to deal to Paula and Hekia. Where are they? So what's, is JT the answer? Can JT go no, in no, there well, and well, up you, the Māori well, you, you can't say that, John, but I'll say no, that. No, no, uh, no, no, I'll say it, because I'm easy. Uh, talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. We, no, we no, want no, to no, 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 talk I, about I, I want to yeah, say yeah. That, that JT is the answer. And, and a lot of it, but not just in the Māori side of things, because I think he's talking about the economy. And, 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 and I'm not just talking about Māori. Uh, people at grassroots, park out people, all want him to come in. Mm. And I think he's matured, and I think he offers the party a lot, and I think Shearer needs some support. OK, JT, final word. Oh, no, look, I, I'm, I'm just trying to raise a debate and a conversation for the, for the benefit of um, where we're heading as a country. I don't care whether it's inside a caucus, uh, out of Whānau Waipareta or elsewhere. you just got to get uh, um, the conversation raised, OK, above the pettiness that has been over the last sort of 20 years, and um, yeah. that's all it's about. Well, on radio live between 12 and 3. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> every Stop day. Stop advertising <laughs> your radio, so, Willie, thank you both very much yeah. for coming yeah, in this morning. JT, Willie, tēnā kōrua.